mobile phones at petrol station. So a little uh, bit of a backstory. Yep. Uh, Petronas launched this app called Settle. So Settle is an app where you can actually pay for petrol on the. Can you explain what the app is about? So Settle is an app that allows you to pay for petrol right from your smartphone. So it's like a, it's kind of like an e-wallet, but you only can use it at Petronas. So you top out your money in your e-wallet. So when you reach a station, you can actually make payments straight away from the mobile device. And once it's done, you just step up and refill. So you don't need to queue up at the counter if you use cash, or you don't need to take out your credit card and type a PIN number. So it's easier to pay from the app. But there's a few concerns about that. So firstly, people always are saying that, hey, is, is it safe to use? Uh, Settle and the PlayStation, but Settle has has actually um, issued like a reminder that you must use Settle only in your car. You can't do it outside. Okay, yeah. so uh, the Settle app, uh, we've tried it. I think you tried it. Yeah. You, you did a video about it. Uh, it is actually quite convenient, lah. Yep. It's convenient for especially mothers uh, yep. who have kids Kissing in the car. 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 They cannot go to the kiosk or they don't have a credit card and mm-hmm. they need to pay for the petrol. So you sit in the car and you you uh, use the app and you pay for the petrol. You go out and then you can fill y- yep. y- the petrol, right? So we did a story about that. We we made uh, we did a video and a post, and uh, a lot of comments came in and say, "Oh, actually, there's a problem that you can't use smartphones at petrol kiosks." Yeah. Uh, and Alex, you went to the launch of Settle and you asked uh, the people at Petronas whether this it is what what happened? Why why is there a problem with mobile phones and petrol pumps? So start from the history of mobile phones mm-hmm. back then, right? Uh, yeah. Ah. So I think back then is when when mobile phones were were popular, right? So there's always a safe. Uh, <clears throat> when mobile phones was released, so there's always this concern that okay, it might cause a fire at petrol stations, and to make sure that this doesn't happen at all, there's no risk at all, so they prohibit the usage of mobile phones near the station. That's quite true for the earlier smartphones because back then most smartphones they have uh, detachable uh, batteries, so the concern was that if let's say it was not attached properly, that might cause a spark and that could actually ignite the fumes. So, but for now, most smartphones have built-in batteries, so it's not really a big risk compared to last time. But they still keep the same ruling. Just to keep things safe. So okay, uh, we, you mentioned to me when we discussed about this, right? So the the during the old I think late nineties when people start using mobile, mobile phones, phones. Uh, the mobile phones, as you know, the design completely different. You yeah. have extendable antennas removable and removable batteries. batteries, and the battery is not uh, uh, it's not like soldered to the to the to the phone. It's wet cell also, yeah. right? So p- back then people were using uh, nickel cadmium, cadmium before, which is like really yes. dangerous. Yep. I mean, it's it's considered wet cell now. Yep. It's uh, lithium ion, which mm. is safer and more stable, yep. lah. Um, and so. It, it, it was a risk because there were two problems. Number one is the battery could be loose yep. and that could generate a spark and the smart, right. spark could ignite the petrol yep. or the antenna could also generate a spark. I, I, I read about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, so that was the ruling when it start, when uh, when mobile phones started gaining popular, popularity, popularity in, in, the in, 90s, in the public, right? Yeah. In the 90s. And then we move on to early 2000s. Phones are so much more safer. Uh, in, antennas are embedded into the body. Batteries are so much more safer. Yeah. Of course, you have outliers, lah. So people will say, okay, the Note Seven uh, had an issue, yeah. but that's because of the battery manufacturing process. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you you do sometimes hear stories about phones exploding, but I'll I usually take that with yeah. a pinch of salt, lah, mm-hmm. because we don't know the full story. Yeah. It could be the phone was damaged from the start. The charger could be. Something that's not original, or, or you, could, it could be a maybe a third party battery. Yeah, it could be mm. uh, overcharge. So this ruling of not using batteries at petrol stations, uh, is actually a legacy ruling. Yeah. But why do they still keep it? So I remember you mentioning to me you asked that question, right? So yeah. they keep it there because it's actually like a okay. It's actually more like a precaution because it's not okay. Apart from the possibility of of igniting or creating a spark, another one is they want to users to be more focused. They want people to be playing their phones while refueling. You know, refueling. Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah, that's a good point, right? So yeah. even when we're driving, we're using phones and that's already causing a lot, <laughs> Don't of, do that. A lot of crashes and accidents, yes. right? Uh, I see people with their phones on the steering wheel, on the screen. <laughs> I see people in traffic jam uh, watching movies. While driving, yes. Yeah, I see people, you know, it's, it's even that is very dangerous and already there is a law. So there's a law against uh, not using phones in while driving, driving right? Yes. You can you can get summons, so yeah. that is an offense. And imagine if petrol pumps start not uh, do not have that ruling to say, oh, you cannot you you. It's okay for you, you to, to use, use 
uh, mobile phones at petrol pumps, right? Yeah, imagine what will happen. <laughs> Can you imagine the <laughs> the types of people just filling up and not looking? Yeah, like, and... oh, let me watch a video while refueling my car. You know? Yeah, so you're Definitely, gonna have like yeah. lots of accidents of overfilling. Yes. Uh, so the it's just I guess mitigating the risk lah. Yeah. So the question is. Uh, is using uh, using mobile phones at petrol pumps dangerous? Mm-hmm. Well, it's risky. Yeah, it's uh, a risk. Is yeah. it a fire hazard? Well, no longer because mm-hmm. it doesn't actually. It's very minimal, minimal to create the the sparks and all that. Yeah, but it is a risk because it's distracting. Yeah, right. It's a distraction, and then again, like for like you mentioned, right? There are people. Most most smartphone users are safe, but what about those who are using old phones? Like you know the the old feature phones we had we have dischargeable batteries. Yeah. Those are still a risk today. Yeah. So mm. feature phones people still use. I mean, yeah. uh, there's there's a lot of people in the world, right? So we have smartphones, but a lot of people be, probably in the rural area, they use uh feature phones. Even yeah. Nokia also is still selling like the three three one zero, which still have yeah, the dischargeable batteries, batteries, and that yes. could be a risk. I mean, yeah. you could drop it, it could pop out. Yes. A, a lot of things can happen, lah. So Correct. it's better to be safe, safe. than sorry. Um. It's, it's, I guess for me, it's a matter of risk. So if you do not have that ruling, you get all sorts of jokers trying to be funny. Yes, right. Imagine if that, if that, ruling, that ruling was uh, was, exist. was suddenly removed, yeah. right? So next month, no more. People can start using phones in, uh, petrol, stations. in petrol station. You get a lot of weird challenges <laughs> yeah. coming up. You know, <laughs> use the phone at, at petrol station challenge or whatever. Imagine so, if you're doing kiki challenge in a petrol station. That'd be it, crazy, Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess in terms of the risk, so if people ask, okay, why do you still, why is not, uh, why, why are mobile phones dangerous at petrol station? It's less of a fire hazard and more of a uh, behavioral uh, behavior risk, more mm. of a like awareness risk, and then now we go back to the picture, right? So can it start a fire? <laughs> Which one? The phones, are? Yeah, can, can phones start a fire? That's the biggest question. I think the answer is no. So you asked the? Did you ask the people at Petronas about this? Can phones start a fire? Yeah, well, when it, they say that most smart, new smartphones shouldn't be any risk, but mm. the concern is the old phones. So the old phones, but yeah. then you say the the answer is can can phones start a fire? So yeah. the the answer is no lah. Mm. I mean. There's a video on Mythbusters yep. that that tried this, and they I I from what I can remember, they had to like really modify the phone to to create a spark to ignite the pet the petrol. That's from what I remember lah. No, actually, what they did was they tried mm. more phones with the phones inside the like a containment. Uh-huh. It couldn't ignite. It, they, what they did was they used static instead, and static can ignite. Yeah. So static is actually a bigger risk than mobile phones. So let's say you get from a car, it's always advisable for you to touch the metal components. The car body. Car body. Uh-huh. Because static is actually a higher risk than than mobile phones. So static is actually a, more dangerous. A bigger problem, right? Yeah. So but you need to have the right conditions because it's also the the, the amount of air and also the amount of fumes that coming out from your car. The humidity. Yes. Uh, the vapor that come out from your petrol. Yeah. So the conditions has to be right for for fire to have for fire to ignite lah. Yeah. Uh, it is a risk. So so. And that's probably uh, the reason why setup, uh, recommends that you only use it in the car because you're in the closed environment. Where it's safer lah. Safe number there's one, no you're, fumes. You're, there's there's no fumes. Mm-hmm. There's no petrol fumes. Number two, you're you're not distracted. That yeah. means you make all your payments. You're done. You put your phone back in, in your the car, car, and then, then you, you do your up. you do your refueling. Uh, number three is uh, static risk lah. So hopefully you've already touched some metal part of your body uh, of the car, and you do not have any more static charge uh, mm-hmm. in your body. Um, so for 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 me then okay the the question is that picture. So that picture of Sadiq uh, Said Sadiq the Minister of Youth and Sport, Sports, Youth and Sports, right? Filling up uh, at the petrol station. Uh, you wrote about that, right? So the problem with that is Petronas immediately assumed that uh, he's using a mobile phone. Yeah. So there's other phones that he can uh, not phones uh, other other he can use a camera right. He could like what we did at the, at the for the setup video. So what we did was we actually have another camera to record that, and then we'll transfer it when we get back to the office. So you you didn't use a smartphone, no, right? No, obviously not. But did did he did he say anything about it? Did he responded to that? So after that, the the the, the tweet handler, uh, mm. Tim Sadik, mm. they actually replied back to us. Oh, we're using a camera. So that's what they claim. I'm not too sure. So it's, it wasn't proven. It wasn't lah. proven. Yeah. In any <laughs> case, right? You're filling up a petrol station. So, I mean, it's this political thing is messy. So I don't want to mention about all yeah. that stuff. But you want to take a viral picture. You you want to post it. I mean, make sure that you're safe, lah. Again, if you talk about distractions, yeah. Having a camera guy shooting without permission, whatever, can can be a problem. Uh, 
and fueling up or posing can also be a problem. It, it and and also number number two, it's a picture, right? So, yeah. uh, for all you know, he could just be uh. He could just be acting. Acting. He already so, finished feeling. Already. Yeah. Oh, maybe the pump, pump is not even active. That yeah. means you know it's not even activated. It's not even feeling. Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of things going on there. I find it quite peculiar that that picture got called up by Petronas and Petronas said, "Oh, you need to be safe." Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, man. I think it's a bit a bit more. They just want to ride on the on the on the on the yeah, wave, I guess. It seems manufactured to me. Yeah. It seems like there's some level of coordination going on between the <laughs> minister okay. and Petronas in terms of making this thing go viral. Maybe. I mean, it's a bit convenient. Like, I mean, when when we saw the picture, we we the first thing that came to to my mind to your mind is that hey, it might not be a camera. It not yep. it might not be yeah, a, a smartphone. A smartphone. Yeah. So why did Petronas? Make a deal out of it. Yeah, but then again, Petronas is not telling me off. They're just reminding him that you're not allowed to use smartphone. That's it. But like you said, why? Yeah, and it's very rare lah for for a company to like remind a minister. So it's I don't know. It's quite. I think it's just a spur of the moment. Like oh, you know, this thing happened. So you know, LPO is tweeting to Petronas so the, about the, it. But the funny thing is that he a uh, Petronas uh replied to retweeted his post and posted a reply. Right. Yeah. It, he. It, so if Petronas really wanted to remind him, he Petronas could have replied to his directly. Tweet. Okay. So the the act of retweeting, retweeting means that he, that Petronas wants to share that picture. Yeah. Which is again, I don't know, it's a bit weird, lah. I guess yeah, two ways to look at it. I guess maybe it's to remind not just to him but to everyone else that do not do this, you know. Because yeah. after all, he's a minister. He should set a good example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. At the end of the day, the the question that we ask is our mobile phones. Dangerous at petrol stations. The answer is it can be distract. It yeah. can be distracting. So by being distracting, it can be dangerous. Mm. Similarly to like driving with your mobile phones, then the question is why is there still a ruling or why is there like a rule at petrol stations to not allow you to use uh, mobile phones? So Alex mentioned is because of behavioral. Behavioral. Yeah. So if the ruling was removed, then uh, you can uh, find all kind of jokers. In the petrol stations, refueling while using the smartphones. Yeah. yeah, and then at the end of the day, it's just safer to because refueling, the like handling fuel is dangerous. Yeah. So when you're refu- refueling, right, just just spend that two three minutes just doing that. Just not, focus on the concentrate. Yeah. And not doing anything else. Yeah. 